No, this isn't another caravan. It's only an old bus, although it seems to have as much time and care lavished on it as the most highly prized caravan. For this bus is unique. It's owned by, yes, you were right, a clergyman, a man who, for the convenience of his parishioners, not only attends to his clerical duties, but also acts as an unpaid part-time mechanic and bus driver. The location is Corf Mullen in Dorset, which happens to be one of the largest, most widely scattered parishes in the country, taking in about 70 square miles. And when the present vicar, the Reverend Bill Rodder, took over recently, he hit on the idea of a bus service. Completely free, of course, it's run on church expenses and does a roaring trade with two or more runs for each service, plus a Sunday school special. Actually, what would happen if he had a breakdown on the way to church, no one knows. They could hardly start without him. The cost of the bus, just over £100, was quickly subscribed and £50 has since been spent on materials for repair, although all the labour had been voluntary. In fact, a church bus committee organises such things as maintenance, timetables and volunteer transport staff, including a rotor of drivers. By special arrangement, the bus is registered as a private car so that the drivers only need an ordinary driving licence. In addition to transport to and from church on Sundays, the Reverend Rodder intends to use the bus for taking parishioners, who would not otherwise get an opportunity, on tours to beauty spots and events in surrounding districts. Beautiful Anglo-Saxon parish church, St. Hubert's, is more than a thousand years old and, as Corf Mullen has developed outwards in leaps and bounds, must eventually make way for a new church in a central position. In the meantime, the Reverend Rodder is tackling the problem with drive and this is only the first of his ideas. Just wait until he gets into top gear.